sort of feel like I'm cheating on the Weber kettle here. But I decided I wanted a kettle grill out at the uh, Buckeye Barbecue Lake Camp. So we're going to take the, uh, the Weber kettle out there. Uh, but I still wanted a kettle option here at the uh, main barbecue HQ. So I've been looking at the SNS Grills kettle and uh, it's got a lot of cool features and I, I really liked it. Uh, so I finally pulled the trigger on one and, and like I say, the Weber kettle will go out to the lake camp and still get a lot of use out there. Uh, but today I've got it unboxed and put together and it's uh, going to get ready for its first cook. So I decided that uh, we should do a tour while it's uh, unused and clean and uh, we'll do a first cook on it later, probably just burgers uh, to start out with. But uh, I want to give you a tour, show you what the uh, SNS uh, Grills uh, kettle is all about and uh, I think you'll appreciate some of the features. Um, that I do, so uh, let's give you that tour. I, I sort of think of it as the Weber kettle with, uh, if there were anything on the Weber kettle I would change, it would be some of these things I'll show you here on the SNS. So uh, I'm gonna get the uh, camera set up on the gimbal and we'll get some close-ups and show you the different uh, features, functions, and benefits of the SNS. So thanks for joining here at Buckeye Barbecue and we'll bring you back. Okay, so here is the uh, SNS Grills kettle. Uh, kind of an up close view. Um, so I'll point out a few things to start out with, and, and I apologize for the uh, camera work as I try to do this holding the camera by hand, or at least on the gimbal. Uh, it's got four legs. So uh, the Weber kettle, if you're familiar, has three legs. And frankly, it's not a terribly big deal, but I can already see that adding the fourth leg uh, it does add to the stability. Uh, it does have a, a nice good size shelf on the bottom too. I'm not sure how much weight it'll hold. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to overload it, but it can certainly hold a few things and, uh, and it would be fine. Uh, the other thing that I love is the uh, addition of the uh, side shelf. It has got four points of contact there on the side of the kettle. Um, uh, bolted from the inside and you can just lift it up and I believe it says it holds 20 pounds which uh, it's definitely uh, sturdy enough to, to do that I don't see any issues with up to 20 pounds on that uh, although I haven't loaded it with anything yet at all but uh, but it's definitely sturdy and nice uh, I got the uh, the black version uh, just because that's what was available. I've seen a gray version too, which is a really nice gray. Uh, frankly, I don't get all that caught up in, in colors uh, of things like this. Uh, either one would have been fine with me. Uh, the front handle has uh, places for utensil hooks there. So not a big deal, but you always want a place to, to hang utensils. Uh, it's got the thermometer. A uh, good size thermometer that uh, should be easy to read. Uh, I have no idea about the accuracy, but I haven't heard uh, anything bad about the uh, included thermometer. Uh, the other thing it has is the air vent on the top, which is no different than the Weber kettle, but in this case, it is actually on the same side. Ow, that was hot, as the, uh, as the thermometer, which is a big deal if you're doing a... Uh, uh, two-zone cooking and maybe you're smoking something on uh, the side where the thermometer is and you've got your charcoal on the opposite side you really want your vent over your food and your thermometer on the same side which is kind of an argument some people have even uh, modified their Weber's to uh, put a thermometer on the uh, vented side as well so I'm definitely glad for that uh, the ash bucket is not a lot different than what Weber uh, has I have no idea if I would like this any any better than what the Weber has, but it works the same way. You've got the lever here. You can move back and forth in order to scrape the ash out of the, the uh, vent holes. And then this bucket will release so you can dump the ash after it's cool. Uh, again, I don't see a huge difference there, but uh, I might be missing something. Maybe there is something better or, or worse on this one uh, than the Weber, but generally it, it seems like the same to me. While we're down here, I will show you that we have a thermometer porthole here. 
So you can put a probe thermometer in through there, which is a great uh, little addition uh, that the Weber kettle does not have. With the Weber kettle, you have to go under the lid or through the uh, top vent, neither of which is all of that great as far as I'm concerned. Having this vent hole here that you can then close when you're not using it, uh, to me, is a really great addition. And sort of along the same lines, it's not used for the same thing, but it's the same type of uh, um, uh, port, is this smoke hole down here. So you can move this out of the way to uh, do a couple of things. Uh, from what I'm uh, seeing online, you can use that to allow airflow when you're smoking uh, using the SNS Grills kettle, or you can uh, also uh, use it for a uh, port for like a, a billows uh, temperature assist to uh, run it through there and then automatically control your kettle grill temperature. That's not something I own. Um, I'm not saying I'll never get one, but I've never really had an interest. But uh, if I do, supposedly that is what that is built for. So we can keep it open or closed and uh, those work really well. If you notice on the side, I don't know if you can see that rail here. I'm sure you can here. This is actually something I'm really excited about uh, with the Weber kettle. Uh, unless you've modified it, you just pretty much have to hold your lid or sit it on the ground with the SNS kettle. Let me uh, get the camera adjusted. You can just pick it up and roll it over and that holds the lid in place. It's just kind of a resting place for the lid. Uh, you can also set your kettle up if you have a lot of wind and uh, and turn that into the wind so it's a wind block when you take the lid off if, if you want to do that. Uh, so I love having a place for the lid there. And uh, we'll go ahead and keep the lid off for the rest of this little tour. Um, we've got the uh, grate on top. The grate is just a little smaller. It actually uh, could be just a little bit bigger and serve the same purpose as far as I'm concerned. But it's a, a little smaller in diameter than the kettle, which allows you to be able to turn the uh, grate easily so you can spin it. And if you want to get some food over the hot coals or away from the hot coals, you can easily do it by, sp by spinning the grate. Uh, the grate has a trap door like many do. But you can access the uh, charcoal just by opening it up and it gives you access to really the whole charcoal pan, which is here. And I'm gonna take the grate off for now because I want you to be able to see a couple of things. So, sorry about the noise, but I'm gonna get that out of the way. So this uh, little side contraption, if you will, is really what the SNS grills is all about. They call it the uh, smoke and sear or the sear and smoke. And we've got a stainless steel. And by the way, this is all heavy duty steel. Uh, I'm not a, a steel gauge expert. I'm sure it's documented, but it's really uh, nice and heavy and, uh, and it's definitely high quality. Uh, but that's your uh, charcoal pan. And then you can add a place that you can add water or other liquid in order to do like a uh, wet smoke if you want to, and you don't have to use that. You can take it in or out and use it if you want to, but essentially this is how you set up your two zone cooking. So you just get your uh, charcoal pan, get your charcoal lit, and then you've got your safe side over here, your cooler side, your charcoal side over here. So I have seen people smoke everything from briskets and pork butts on this side, turkeys, other uh, chicken, whatever. And then you can also do a high heat sear on this side and you can certainly use the kettle without the uh, uh, charcoal basket in it at all and spread your charcoal out and, and just have the full thing uh, ready to go with, with charcoal. So lots of versatility here. Um, one of the things that you notice right away is it's really high quality. Everything is uh, well built and, and, and to me built to last. I went ahead and spent a little bit extra money and got a cover for it. Uh, it, since it's been built, the weather has been beautiful here where I am in Buckeye Barbecue land, so we haven't gotten any rain on it or anything like that. Uh, but I suspect the cover is, uh, is definitely going to work well to protect the uh, kettle and make it last that much longer. 
Uh, lots of other accessories. In fact, I have one out, or I have one that I don't even have out here that are like griddle pans that are the shape of your charcoal basket. Uh, they make several different models and styles. I got a cast iron one and it, it fits right on top of here. So you could use like a cast iron griddle. Uh, they also have roasting pans of, of the same size that can go on either side of, of your grill. Um, so definitely uh, some, some nice accessories. Uh, so, so far, having not used it, as you can tell, it's pristine. Uh, I am really impressed with this. And from everything I've seen online, I will continue to be impressed with it. Probably take a little bit of a, of a learning curve, especially for like doing an offset cook as like a smoker. Uh, I don't have any doubt about that, but I also am not worried about it. I think, uh, I think it'll come pretty naturally. And once you get past the uh, getting used to it a little bit, I think it'll be really good. So um, this is the tour of the SNS kettle. I'm uh, going to do the first cook on it sometime. And again, I think that's going to be burgers, either that or, or steak. Uh, or maybe we'll do a couple of cooks over a, the course of a few days and, and do uh, both burgers and steaks. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to using it. And the uh, Weber kettle, um, haven't had that out in a while, but it's going to go out to the uh, lake camp. And uh, we'll, uh, I'm sure, do a video or two out there. Uh, by the way, this is the same size. This is 22 inch. You could certainly use those aftermarket rotisseries on this as well. Um, I think I will take uh, my aftermarket rotisserie with the Weber kettle out to the lake camp. Uh, but if I wanted one for this, uh, they're easy to find. And I think maybe you can even get one from the SNS website. So anyway, thanks for uh, joining and uh, watching this video of the SNS kettle. I'm um, looking forward to that first cook and uh, we'll definitely post that after it happens and we will see you next time on Buckeye Barbecue and uh, we'll do a full review of this after a few cooks, uh, maybe after a few months or something like that. Uh, but for now, I'm excited. So uh, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I'd definitely be grateful and we will see you next time.